Hello, Patrick Henry. Happy Friday. I hope you all have had a great week. This week, we have Samia Nasir doing our VIP presentation. And after she is finished, I'll come back and do some kachas for you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, students, teachers, and staff. My name is Samia Nasir, and today I'm going to be talking about generosity. Generosity means the quality of being kind and generous. To me, generosity means showing kindness and love. You should always show generosity because it could take you a long way in life. Being kind is very important because it helps you build trust with other people. Earlier this year, my mother had to work from home due to COVID. We were on quarantine, but she needed help with my brother. I stepped in and told her that I will watch my brother while she works. Even things like doing your chores at home or getting all your schoolwork done are examples of showing generosity. When I gave food to the homeless about three years ago, I was in second grade. I was with my father and best friend. I gave the sandwiches away because I will always see homeless people on the curb asking for food or money. We made turkey sandwiches and went all around Richmond and gave sandwiches away to the homeless. I felt great and felt like I did something important. Steve Maraboli is a doctor, actor, and writer. In one of his books, he once said, a kind gesture can reach a wound that only compassion can heal. I think that statement means to always give because it shows honesty and trust. When you are generous, you become strong and worthy. Thank you for your time and have a nice Friday. Thank you, Samia. That was a great job. We love how Mr. Burke leads our fifth graders every week in doing our very important principal talks, and you did a great job this week. Thank you so much. We're going to move right now to kachas. I have a lot of kachas for this week, so be patient because this is going to take a while. All right, Miss Swift would like to catch Cameron Brown. Um, he logged on and he was prepared and ready to learn in the morning. Declan and Olivia for always having an answer prepared when they are raising their hand. For Xavier and Aiden stepping out of their comfort zone to share their answers amongst the class. And finally to Amir for modeling how to decrease frustration by refocusing his attention on a positive thought. That's a great lesson for all of us. Thank you, Ms. Swift. We have teacher appreciation from a student today. This is a student catching her teachers. I don't think we've ever had this before. This is from Phoenix Coakley and she would like to recognize Miss Hamlet. Miss Hamlet has always made sure to have some jokes or something to wake us up in the morning. The next one is for Mr. Litchfield. Phoenix says he has been working really hard and she said, I bet it's hard to teach a virtual PE class. And yes, it is. And he's doing a magnificent job, Phoenix. And the last one that Phoenix would like to recognize is Mr. Burke. He has been working quite hard. He pops in and out of classes to see if everything is working with the VIP speeches. Thank you and have a great rest of your day, says Phoenix. Great job. Yes, and all of those teachers are doing a fantastic job for you. These are from um, Ms. Chaffee, the PTA president, but she's also a mom, and she would like to give a huge shout out to Ms. Dryling. Ms. Dryling has been incredibly helpful and thoughtful in everything she does. She responds quickly to communications, is clear about expectations, and is an amazing teacher. Layla is so excited to have her as a teacher, and that's amazing considering Layla's never even met Ms. Dryling in person. I love listening to Ms. Dryling interact with the children. She manages to keep them on track and have a lot of fun along the way. I'm impressed with her patience and obvious love of teaching. She will tweak just about anything to help the parents and the students. Very grateful to have her this year. And that is from um, Layla's mom, Ms. Chaffee. These are from Ms. Martin. Thank you students for taking responsibility for your actions and for your learning. I am very proud of you. 
She would like to recognize Cameron Brown in Miss Swift's class. Cameron is making good choices for his behavior and schoolwork by attending class on time and being prepared with his materials, being polite and following directions the first time, using every minute we have together to learn and work, and continuing to try, even when it gets a little hard. Because he is being so respectful and so responsible, his reading has improved quite a lot and he enjoys reading much more. Great job, Cameron. This one is for Adam Bobakaya from Miss Martin. Adam comes to class every day with a smile, good attitude, and ready to work. He comes prepared with his pencil, notebook, and reading material, follows directions right away, asks smart questions, remains patient when his classmates are being helped, completes assignments we do together, and his homework. His reading fluency and reading comprehension have improved because he reads at home and practices all the words we have learned. Miss Martin would like to recognize Christopher White. Christopher does so many things well, which makes him a good role model for others. In my class, he is on time and prepared to work, always polite and helpful to me and his classmates, works and stays focused on the assignments we are doing, responsible about reading and study words we have learned, and his reading skills are progressing nicely because he is serious about being a strong reader. Carly Burgess. Carly and Miss Martin have worked together since she was in first grade. She has improved in so many ways, but mostly in working hard to improve her reading. She now sounds out words and reads them easily. When it gets hard for her, she doesn't give up. She keeps working until she figures it out. Carly knows how to persevere, one of our favorite VIPs, Carly. I believe Carly enjoys reading because she smiles when she reads, and she reads with excitement using her teacher voice. Keep up the good work, Carly. Elijah Ross. Thank you, Elijah, for coming to class every day, on time, and prepared to work. I also appreciate all of the work you do at home when you are practicing your words or reading your books. One thing you may not know about Elijah is that he is a neat and careful writer. He has beautiful handwriting. Great job, Elijah. And lastly, Miss Martin would like to recognize Juliana Lyons. Juliana is making so much progress. She comes to class on time with a smile and wants to get busy reading. She loves to pretend she is the teacher. It helps her to read smoothly and with good expression. Although learning is not always easy for Juliana, she keeps working until it gets better. Then her face beams with pride. I love seeing her smile and hearing her say good things about herself when she does well. Thank you students for making good choices about learning and being smart PHSSA students. Those are all great ones from Miss Martin. Moving along, we have so many more. Miss Bradette has a kacha for Demarcus Taylor in kindergarten, but he goes by MOOC. We have been working on looking at his paper to match shapes, and today he took his time to look at each shape and he was able to match all six shapes. Great job, great job, Demarcus Mook. This is from Ms. Power. She is a mom and serves on our PTA, and she was responsible for the Reflections Contest. And I just wanted to recognize our Reflections Contest winners for this year. I'm so proud of you all for entering this again, and PHSSA once again has done very well. The theme, it was I Matter Because. In visual arts, primary level, Nija Caleb is the winner. He is a second grader in Miss Yaz's class, and his painting is titled I Matter Because I Work Hard. For film production, this is at the intermediate level, the winner is Beatrix Power. She is a fourth grader in Miss Schwartz's class, and she made a video called Big Dreams. These students will move on to represent PHSSA and compete against other RPS schools in the city competition. Our PTA would like to congratulate our winners for their great work and wishes them the best of luck at the city level. 
And once again, our thanks to Miss Power and the PTA for sponsoring that contest again this year. This is from Miss Walker. Caden, Bera, Lillian, Olivia, and Grace were caught applying the second step, step character traits in math, small group, when reviewing inverse operations. They were attentive, focused, and the speaker uh, focused on the speaker and remembered what they had heard. Great job. In language arts small group when working on adverbs and adjectives, Declan, Kylan, and Abe were actively participating and staying focused with their eyes, their ears, and their brain. Awesome job. Thank you, Miss Walker. These are from Miss Schwartz, Jeremiah Clark. Jeremiah stayed on the call after he was finished to help a classmate find where an assignment was and how to complete it. Thanks for being helpful, Jeremiah. Good job. Beatrix Power. Beatrix always shows up on time to our reading group and works really hard the entire time. Zoe Melton always asks for help if she needs it and is very encouraging to her classmates in the chat box. Lillian Smith and Kabayu Claiborne, they have both been keeping their cameras on and answering questions this week during Virginia Studies. Ms. Schwartz would also like to thank her whole homeroom for being so well and respectfully during their breakout rooms today, for working so well and respectfully. They really helped each other and were able to work as a team to get their assignment completed. I love hearing that. Congratulations to all of those fine students for working so hard and being great role models for everyone. One more teacher. This is from Ms. Pendleton. Isa is such a sweet friend to his classmates. He listens to them when they share and he loves to talk to them about their interests. I love to see students connecting with each other even over the computer. Finn. Finn is another joyful student in the class. He is always eager to share with his classmates and he brings such a positive attitude to both morning meeting and small group. Danielle is a good reader. She is doing a great job in reading groups. She is also a great friend to her classmates. She is a good listener and she's always ready to share. Layla is a great helper. When classmates are confused or need help with technology, she offers to help them. She works hard during class and she always tries her best. Truett is another example of a great helper. When a friend is stuck, he does his best to offer suggestions or explain how to do something. He is such a creative student and we love to hear his ideas and thoughts during morning meeting. Thank you for sharing those, Ms. Pendleton, and to everyone else who shared those good things that are going on this week. I'm so proud of all of you. There are great things going on at Patrick Henry. I'd like to thank all of the teachers and staff for all of their hard work. They're doing an amazing job. Students, you're doing well as well. And to parents and families, thank you for all that you do at home. We couldn't do it without you. Um, at this time, we're going to close out our Friday morning meeting. I'd like to wish you all a happy weekend. Uh, get outside and enjoy the weather if you can. Take care. Bye-bye.